Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Whitney Carmen. She's the Grayson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning. Now, Whitney, you know, a lot of times when we think of spring, we think of lamb. Yes. Easter is uh, usually, you know, <laughs> everybody has lamb for Easter. And that's actually funny because the market is actually highest during that part of the, of the year because that's when we eat a lot of lamb. So. Yeah. And, and so right now is a busy time day yes. for lamb producers mm -hmm. or and, sheep producers. Yes, it is. And so... Uh, we talked about the January and April are the typical lambing seasons for our area and for hair sheep especially April is a is a time of year that a lot of people will uh, lamb out and so what that means is is the they'll get bred in the in the late winter or November and then they'll be ready to the typical gestation is 148 days and so they will lamb around the first part of April and then they will after lambing season is done they'll wean about 60 days of age and then they'll sell them or they'll wean them even further and sell them at 120 pounds uh, which is market weight for for lambs okay so, mm -hmm. so it's kind of a, a year-round it is it is a year-round uh, typical for you know it, like any production system it's a year-round there's maintenance throughout the year you maintenance is the main thing especially with nutrition and making sure that they're healthy throughout the pregnancy and also when the lambs are born there are things you have to do to make sure that they're cared for because that's how people are going to make their profit is by selling their lambs and so usually when they're born if you don't have any issues with lambing and uh, they you'll they'll be with mother uh, or they'll be with the youth throughout the spring and they'll be able to graze pasture that's one of the good things about lambing in April is because we're coming into some good green grass now I will say that they will still need some supplementation because it's green grass but it's got a lot of water in it mm -hmm. so we need to make sure that they can maintain some of those nutrients in that grass uh, still feed them a little bit of concentrate if that's I would recommend that if that's what you're gonna do is lamb in April and then when it comes to weaning them at about 60 days of age you want to make sure that you uh, when you wean them that uh, you separate them from the ewes and that you're going to give them uh, their vaccinations. Overeating is a vaccination that we give to ewes yearly and lambs we will give them uh, at, four, at five, eight, and 11 weeks. And so that essentially is going to give them all of their um, vaccines and medicines that they're going to need throughout uh, their life essentially so oh wow so you can get all that done mm -hmm. right in that time now Whitney mm -hmm. a lot of times people will say oh those lambs are so cute mm -hmm. let's get one for Easter <laughs> but th there's a lot of work there is and if you've ever had to bottle feed lambs you learn very quickly <laughs> that, that they that they're a lot of work uh, if you are getting a lamb especially if you have a bottle lamb which I know a lot of people are in the market for which is interesting <laughs> but you are it's a three-hour schedule they they have to eat every three hours. You are feeding them, uh, giving them milk, uh, usually colostrum in the first 24 hours. That's very important. Uh, most of the time, you if the they don't get colostrum, they're not going to do very well. And so you give them their colostrum. Uh, you're going to feed uh, feed them milk every three hours, and then watch them grow. And <laughs> they're interesting to they grow very quickly. So they will need their uptake, their food increased uh, usually probably you know every couple of days. So. Bottle, lamb, bottle feeding and, and getting lambs right off the mother is not always the, the best thing in the world to do. Right. <laughs> might, need to, might need to prepare. Yes. You know, they're cute. They are cute. But mm -hmm. that every three hour mm -hmm. schedule uh, mm -hmm. gets old rather quickly. And then yes. a lot of times, first of May, we're getting mm -hmm. calls saying, where can I get rid of this lamb? Yes, yes. And we do have several markets in the area. Bowling Green here is a very good market for a lot of haired sheep. Actually, a lot of producers up in this area will send them to Bowling Green. There are several in central Kentucky that are that are very good places to go as well. I would just call the market to see if they have a sale. I know the second and fourth Thursday of the month is here in the Bowling Green area. And I would also recommend if you have questions about it, talk to uh, the, the ladies at the Kentucky Department of agriculture there is a marketing department and they can give you great resources on places to sell your lambs and and being a part of the sheep and goat association is also another good resource that you can be a part of and then also contacting your extension service too. a lot of us agents have those resources available for us to to utilize to send out to the public absolutely mm -hmm. there's that great goat and sheep management calendar yes, that and keeps people on task there is they've they do have a great new uh, calendar and I would recommend getting that as well as 
us using Sheep and Ruminant Profit School if you can get involved in that school as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions or are excited about maybe getting into the sheep business, make sure to give one of us a call at your local extension office. We'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.